everybody and welcome to a new science class. The solar system is so big that its wonders don't stop being discovered yet by scientists and interest people of all ages along the times. The truth is our solar neighborhood is a very exciting place. The solar system is full of planets, moons, asteroids, comets, minor planets, and many other exciting objects. So I invite you to pay close attention to each detail because today we are talking about the components of the solar system. Let's start with a big and pretty basic question. What exactly is the solar system? Well, the solar system is made up of a big star called the Sun and all the planets orbiting around it. In addition to planets, the solar system also consists of moons, comets, asteroids, minor planets, dust, and also gas. Let's start talking about its main component, the Sun. The Sun contains around 98% of all the material in the solar system. Can you imagine how big it is? These huge stars compose of several layers where hot gases are converted into energy and released as heat and as light. As the sun is so large, its powerful gravity attracts all other objects in the solar system towards it. Let's continue with the planets. The term planet originally comes from the Greek word for wanderer. Many ancient cultures observed these moving stars, but it wasn't until the invention of the telescope in the 1600s that astronomers were able to look at them in more detail. The International Astronomical Union defined a planet as an object with the following characteristics. It orbits the sun. It has sufficient mass to be round or nearly round. It is not a satellite or moon of another object. It has removed debris and small objects from the area around its orbit. A lot of astronomy people like to think of the solar system being made up in two parts, the inner solar system and the outer solar system. We have the inner solar system which has Mercury, Venus, Earth, and not forgetting about Mars. These are the closest to the Sun and are called the terrestrial or rocky planets simply because they have very solid rocky surfaces. Now the outer solar system has Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These are sometimes called the gas giants. Out past Neptune, you'll find a small planet called Pluto, which has a solid and icy surface. Regarding to its size, it is called a dwarf planet. Asteroids, sometimes called minor planets, are rocky remains or what we called leftovers from the early formation of our solar system. Most of these ancient space rubble or waste can be found orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter within the main asteroid belt. An asteroid can be so large as Vesta. The largest asteroid about 329 miles or 530 kilometers in diameter that is approximately the distance from north to south if you drive in a straight line in our country, Ecuador. Asteroids can be also so small to bodies that are less than 33 feet, and that is about 10 meters across. As I said at the beginning of the video, our fantastic solar system also has moons revolving around the sun. Moons are also called satellites. They come in many shapes, many sizes, and many types. 
they are generally solid bodies that revolve around a planet. A few of them have atmospheres. Most of the planetary moons were probably formed from the disks of gas and dust circulating around planets in the early solar system. The planets have different numbers of moons. For example, Jupiter has 16 moons. Saturn has eight, Neptune has one, and our planet, the Earth, has also its own satellite, and we know it as the moon. Comets, woo! They're cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock, and dust that orbit the sun. When frozen, they are the size of a small town. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. The dust and gases form a tail that stretches away from the sun for millions of miles. There are likely billions of comets orbiting our sun. Most comets travel a safe distance from the sun. Comet Halley, for instance, comes no closer than 89 million kilometers, around 55 million miles. However, some comets, called sun grazers, crash straight into the sun or get so close that they break up and just evaporate. Let's see if you remember the most important information about the solar system we live in. Question number one, and I pull it down, and it says, which are the main components of the solar system? Great! The solar system is made up of a big star called the sun, all the planets, moons, comets, asteroids, minor planets, dust, and even gas. Question number two. What is the sun made up of? Of course, the sun is composed of several layers where hot gases are converted into energy and released as heat and as light. Question number three. How are the planets classified? You are just right. The solar system is divided in the inner solar system and the outer solar system. One is close to the sun and the other one is far away from it. Question number four. Which planets are part of the inner solar system? Excellent! Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Where is question number five? Oh yeah. Which planets are part of the outer solar system? Correct! Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Question number six. Here it is. What planet is called a dwarf planet and why? Very good answer. Pluto is known as a dwarf planet for its size. Finally, question number seven. What is a moon? Perfect! A moon is a solid body that revolves around the planet. Well kids, I hope everybody had a wonderful time learning about our solar system. Stay tuned for the next science class. Bye!